Many animals use warning coloration against predation. Unlike camouflage, where the animal tries to hide from the predator, the animal is projecting, do not eat me. In the animal kingdom, the colors red, yellow, and orange tend to mean poisonous. Contrasting colors and distinctive patterns also are examples of warning coloration that animals present. Animals can use warning coloration to say anything from, I'm obnoxious, to, I'm going to end up killing you. It typically only takes one encounter from a toxic prey species for a predator to learn to never eat it again. Skunks use warning coloration to ward off predators. The contrast between the white and black fur warns predators to steer clear of them. In a study done by Tim Caro and Matthew Cox, they noticed that animals that have horizontal stripes that lead to the animal's tail are more likely to spray their anal secretion to defend against predators. This stripes where the weapon is found on them. We all know what a skunk smells like and would prefer to not smell that anytime soon. A predator would have to be pretty desperate to go after a skunk. Monarch butterflies present a warning of danger to their predators by showing their bright orange and black wings. The monarch butterfly gains their toxins through a main diet of milkweed during their time spent as a caterpillar and a butterfly. These toxins are mainly toxic to vertebrates, specifically birds and frogs. Although they usually do not survive the attack, nor do they kill the predator, they make the predator very ill, which usually prevents the predator from continuing their attack or eating other monarch butterflies. Although they are typically a predator in the coral reef environment that they occupy, lionfish sometimes fall prey to sharks, grouper, and eels. Lionfish are slow moving and must rely on their coloration to warn off possible predators. Their warning coloration most often consists of red, white, and black bands which warn of their venomous spines. These spines release a venom that can cause temporary paralysis or even be fatal to its predators. Coral snakes have colored scales that will make almost any animal want to stay away. The coral snake specifically has red, black, and yellow bands that are the telltale signs that this snake is dangerous. In fact, many snakes have patterns that mimic their deadly species. In certain parts of the US, there is a rhyme that help people see the difference. Red and yellow can kill a fellow. Red and black, it's a friend of Jack. Even though all three of these colors are on these snakes, the rhyme references the colors that touch each other on their body. Although many humans are able to tell the difference, most animals are not. And these snakes, more often than not, get away with their lives. Poison dart frogs live in Central and South America and are one of the most deadly creatures of its size. This tiny animal has enough toxins present in its one inch body at one time to kill 10 humans or 20,000 mice. There are 175 different types of poison dart frogs that can show a variety of colors, including yellow, gold, copper, red, green, blue, and black. For centuries, certain tribes and indigenous people have used their poison to tip their blowgun darts for hunting purposes. One of the most deadly marine animals is a blue ringed octopus. In one octopus, there's enough venom to severely harm up to 26 humans, and there's no antivenom for it. They are yellow brown colored with blue and black rings all over and when they're agitated, they warn other organisms by darkening their brown spots and illuminating the rings around their body. These octopuses live in humid, thin reefs of Australia, Indonesia, and other Pacific countries where they feed on small crabs and shrimp. Using its tentacles, they grab prey and pull them close where they bite with a sharp beak and release venom that completely paralyzes the organism. The blue ringed octopus doesn't have a lot of predators Primarily moray eels will hunt and kill them if they're anywhere near the site. Basically don't mess with them because they're in shallow reefs.